hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel i am karemi this video is totally something out of my comfort zone but i know it's something that uh, many people are going through so i'll try to be uh, very quick to cover as much as i can and to be as honest as possible so as you can tell from the title of this video i'm going to talk about depression and things that i personally went through i'll start by saying that i'm not a very happy person i'm not a happy person by the way i'm cool kind of but okay i'm outside so it's a bit noisy but i'll try to to be audible so it started i think the the episode started last year i remember on a sunday morning texting my friends and telling them that i was going through a lot of stress and i was possibly depressed and after i sent that uh, text message i felt very guilty like why was i telling people i i didn't know what they would think about me and i was worried so that's I, I've come to realize that that is something that depressed people go through. They don't want to share what they are going through. They feel kind of ashamed. Yeah, it comes with a lot of shame. You feel that like you're letting yourself go. You're, you're letting yourself down. So and after I sent that message, I went to the shower and I really cried. I felt I felt very 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 bad and after that okay i i had different episodes and they lasted they last for different amounts of time but the this year has been the hardest for me personally and i got to a time where i was thinking that i always wanted to run away i don't know the first thing that I thought in the morning when I woke up was where do I go and I'll think of all my friends but I felt that I was going to be a burden to them they were busy and I didn't know what to tell them how do I start how how do I express myself what do I tell them so I'll just be very sad want to cry all the time almost every, everything made me want to cry I don't know why so I'll just go through the day very sad very silent very few of my friends of my family actually knew what I was going through I didn't tell my sister I didn't tell my mom I didn't think they would understand I felt that as if they would judge me and wonder what is what is wrong why why would you feel that why would you want to harm yourself or to destroy your life so i just kept silent i wanted to go to them to spend some time with them but i felt that they would know something was wrong with me and i didn't want them to feel that or to see that i didn't want them to see how sad i was so i just stayed I stayed home I told no one I was irritable I was mad all the time I was rude I didn't want to make conversation with anyone so even my daughter she's three now she was she was not even three yet but I felt as if she was a burden to me and every time she wanted something I feel I, I'll even uh, beat her beat her I'll pinch her and when she cried i'll get even more irritated like what do i do how how what do i do to make her stop crying because i felt as if she was a burden to me personally i felt like i wanted to run away from her from the responsibility of taking care of her of i didn't even know what to tell her so it was hard but i'll say that one of the things that really really helped me to get through the hardest episode which was uh, last month was talking 
I was in a place where I didn't I didn't want anything. I just spent I would wake up, do whatever I had to do in the morning, go to work if I had any job to do at that, that day, spend the day uh, doing whatever I was doing and in the evening just go to sleep. I, I, I used to sleep very early and when I didn't have any job to do during the day, I'll just stay curled up on the couch watching i didn't want to talk to people i wanted to go somewhere but i couldn't go anywhere i didn't want to go anywhere i felt that it, as if it was too much work like i'm going to to have to talk to people i'm going to have to put up a front to be happy to smile and it felt like it was a lot a lot to handle so i stayed indoors most of the time i went I visited some people when I had to, but there's a friend I knew I could go to any day, any time. So when I could, I just went to her place. Sometimes I'll spend the night. And it really did help me because I, I was not so much into myself, into my mind, thinking, overthinking everything and letting my thoughts control everything, you know? With depression, you, you're not the one controlling yourself. You feel as, as if your mind is controlling you. You want to do something, but your mind doesn't let you do the thing that you feel is right. For example, when I was pinching my daughter and asking her to stop crying, a part of me felt like, like this is wrong. I have to stop doing this. I have to stop hurting her. I'm raising her wrong. but. Then my body does not do what I want it to do. So I felt as if I was outside of my body looking at myself, at my daughter. I'd be rude at people and at the back of my mind I know I'm being rude. I know it's not some, I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm supposed to be better to, to just make conversation, be a normal person. but. I could not, I just continued doing the thing that was wrong and then I'll beat myself up about it and my mind will be all over and I'll get sad, I'll get mad, extremely mad, I'll feel like nobody is understanding what I'm going through, they don't want to understand what I'm going through, so it was hard for me, I'll say that your mind controls a lot of what is going on and you feel as if your mind does not belong to you it was hard but i'll say that if you're going through depression if you're going through so much sadness that you do not understand yourself you need to talk to someone i didn't seek professional help because i didn't know how I'll, expl I'll explain it to someone. I'm not even sure how, uh, I'm doing the right thing, I'm saying the right thing right now because it was so much emotion, so much was going on and I could not explain to anyone the exact thing that I was going through. So I'm not sure if this video even cuts an inch of what I was going through or what someone else might be going through. So I'll say, talk to someone, talk to a friend. Not even, it n might not be about what you're going through. Just talk to someone about something. Anything, anything you think is normal, do it. Talk to someone. And listen to music if you like music. Watch something you like. Take care of yourself. Get out, out of your bed and maybe take a shower. You'll feel so much better. Something else that really really helped me during those couple of months because it was a couple of months it was not days I'll, i went through it for a long time before it drowned me almost it was a couple of months so i developed a routine i didn't have uh, help in the house at the time 
so i developed a routine i knew my daughter was my responsibility she needed to eat to drink to shower so that that was something that really helped me the routine because i was not capable of taking care of myself properly so i was taking of care of her and by taking care of her i was taking care of me for example make sure making sure food was ready meant that all of us were going to eat that day honestly it's very hard getting out of it getting out of your mind controlling what you're doing because you feel as if your mind is controlling everything and what another thing that helped me was i decide as much as uh, i've said that you can talk to people about anything apart from what you're going through find someone that you trust someone you know will be there for you and try to explain i didn't t tell everything that was going on in my life in my mind because i felt that some of the things i'd been thinking would be hurtful or he will, he would feel as if some sort of way i didn't want him to see me in a certain light which is i know it's it's wrong because you should be open to people but find someone you can te tell something even if it is 10 percent of what is going on in your life find that person and try and confine in them and talking really really helps because you you kind of getting out of your mind by voicing your thoughts and your emotions you will be getting out of that state slowly also do something for yourself something small each and every day get outside do some activity that you like it will make you feel good and that is something when you're depressed you don't feel you don't feel good at all about anything nothing makes you happy nothing depression is bad and a lot of people are going through it and they are going through depression silently because you feel as if no one will understand you don't want people to judge you you don't want people to wonder what is wrong sometimes there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong with you sometimes it just something very small triggers depression triggers your sadness you might be very rich you know when some people think about depression they think that it affects someone because they are experiencing some financial constraints they are struggling financially but probably you're not probably you have money you have a good job you have a good family you've seen celebs kill themselves because of depression so do not feel as if by talking to someone they'll judge you and think you're struggling in some sort of way you might not be struggling but you're struggling emotionally which is worse than struggling in any other way because your emotions will just control you so yes try and be happy for, for a second try and be happy for a second thank you this 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 was a little bit harder than i expected no, no not harder easier i expected to be maybe crying to be feeling very bad but i've tried to make up a few points i know it's not even a fraction of the real thing so but it's a start it's it's a start because i struggled opening up to anyone anyone i didn't want people to know i was depressed i was sad i was stressed up i didn't want people to know but um this is a start and i'll try to do something i'll try to open up more and talk about it because i know talking about it is one of the ways that you beat it you deal with it and i'm happy i made this step so thank you so much
Uh, I'm sorry if the quality, the sound quality of this video is very poor. I'm outside. I'm at, at a children's play area, so it's a little bit noisy. But uh, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I, I did, I recorded this video. I hope after listening to it, I'll be in a position to post it. But do send your questions, your comments. And if you're going through depression, I'm really sorry and I'm here for you. I know it's not easy. It's not easy in families. It's not easy in relationships. It's not easy for anyone, even for single people. For anyone, it's not easy. Life is not easy. Different things are happening that are making people, someone very sad and anxious and stressed which are all triggers to depression so do not stay with that sadness inside no do not find someone confine with someone if not anyone write it down just give it a voice and by giving it a voice you're reclaiming your voice you you're reclaiming yourself so i'm here i'm available to talk so Thank you so much. Bye.